Cuba has a new leader, and for the first time in decades, it's not a Castro. Forget the days of fiery world record breaking speeches. Miguel Diaz Canel is a plain spoken moderate. Conociendo el sentir popular. With a much quieter disposition, who's relatively not well known outside of Cuba. But this transfer of power won't be revolutionary like the one in 1959. Diaz Canel is a popular fixture in the Communist Party, groomed for the role by his predecessors, and a guy who spent his time meeting with foreign leaders and ambassadors. While he's not much of a guerrilla fighter, he does subscribe to the same Marxist Leninist tradition as Fidel Castro. And experts don't expect him to introduce radical changes to Cuban economic policy. He's very much a party loyalist. In fact, he's worked his way up through the ranks for more than three decades, becoming first vice president in 2013. But Diaz Canel's views lean closer to the reform started by outgoing president Raul Castro. For example, private enterprise is expected to continue to expand under his leadership, as well as more home sales and broadening internet access. But experts say some change is afoot. In a country where the government has long monopolized the media, he's already made press freedom and internet freedom a priority. But many wonder how a successor without Castro's founding father credentials will be able to manage the country. His transition comes as Cubans are looking for a better quality of life, including higher wages and better infrastructure, without losing the gifts like health care and free education that were brought in by the revolution. <laughs>